the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. This is a Christmas greeting from the Integration Vicar. I want to wish you all, every single one of you who are watching this video, wherever you are in the world, a merry and truly blessed Christmas. Even if there are no services for the time being due to the COVID-19 situation, it is fantastic that we again this year can hear the old, ancient, happy and cheerful Christmas message. Do not be afraid. I bring to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. These great news are welcomed by people. This is why all the Christmas hymns are happy and joyful hymns. They are all full of glorifications, thanks, praise, and the happiness is the refrain in all of them. This is because, like I lit the candle just before the light, God came to our world as the true light in his son, Jesus, to enlighten our world and us so we don't have to walk around in darkness, a darkness that we in our daily life can experience as grief, loneliness, illness, worry, stress, or maybe hatred. We call out of the darkness with or without words. We can have the feeling that we are left behind by God and are struggling all by ourselves, but we are not. The great news again in this Christmas celebration is that we have the light of the world that shines through the darkness of the world. This is the great Christmas present from God to us at all times, that he became human, just like us, so that we really, in any situation, can understand and experience how close God is, his presence. We can come before God with everything we want to share. So may we let the word of God shine on our path and lead us to eternal life as his gift of mercy. God is truly rich and good, and he gives us everything by grace, his amazing grace. May God help us to pass forward everything that he has given us to honor him and to serve our neighbor. My wish and prayer is that we may get inspiration to our Christmas celebration from the prayer of Francis of Assisi, who lived in the 13th century. And may our prayer be, Lord, make me an instrument of our, your peace. Where there is hatred, let me serve love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I wish you all a merry and truly blessed Christmas. May God be with you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 
Amen.